My name is Lynn Randall King. <coughs> I'm the uh, medical product specialist for Skedco Incorporated. Got from the hey, flight hey, medic. Come on, come on, stay with me. What do you got? I'm a ten-year Army veteran. <coughs> I started out at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, as a line medic with the uh, 3rd of 325 Airborne Infantry. <laughs> I brought a lot of that to my next duty station, which, is, which was actually here at Fort Carson. I was put in charge of a, an ER team. Got a lot of good experience there. Ended up taking that experience, taking it over to the uh, 91 Whiskey Schoolhouse. So I've trained over a thousand medics. And then I was able to create a bleeding simulation system that we're going to be demonstrating today. Go, go, I got you. Go, go, go. Field expedient bleeding simulation system. FEBS. Well, I'm a casualty today. I'm not only the inventor of this bleeding simulation system, but I'm one of the best actors you'll ever find. Ah! Ah! I'm a glutton for punishment. I like to get beat up. Hey, ready? Let's go. Ah! Uh, and so when I was invited down here, take him to the bird. Take him to the bird. I was really excited. I'm like, I got, I got to be one of your casualties. Ah! I've actually got real wounds. I've got real meat on me right now. Some buffalo intestine on me. <laughs> That's just too freaking surreal, dude. To increase the stress for our medic that's going through. I need some assistance over here! We got no the intent with this system is to give somebody a live casualty, a medic or first responder, a live casualty, and allow them to experience what they would experience on the battlefield. There's a lot of training equipment out there right now that uh, just lays there. There's a lot of mannequins out there that, you know, they, just, they don't do anything. There's there's some really expensive equipment, and it's great. Um, but for a 91 Whiskey Combat Medic, first responder CLS guy, uh, it's really something that we can't use. Real casualty with a pulse that's able to scream, that's able to kick and moan, and now we can make that casualty bleed. In my experience, if you get a, a casualty that will uh, scream, oh, ah. you get that guy to bleed, <laughs> uh, you just created a, a tremendous amount of stress for that soldier, that medic, that first responder that goes through it and tries to save that life. I know it hurts! Oh, hey, listen to me! Oh, listen to me! Oh, I know it hurts! You're gonna be alright! Oh. And that's really why I'm, I'm passionate about this. I, I don't want guys to get out there and, and freeze because they see guts lying everywhere. Because they had a guy that's missing an arm or a leg or an eyeball. The, the best thing that a guy can go through is something that's really hard. Here we go! Oh, come on! And it's a lot of fun. I get to dress up and look like a monster and scream and, and, and cause people to you know, stress out. I love it. It's a really simple idea, but like I said before, if you get a guy that's screaming and a guy to bleed, then you've just created chaos. Three, one, two, three! Field Expedient Bleeding Simulation System allows soldiers to train as they fight every time they go out to the field. They can use this system anytime, anywhere, uh, and it's easy, it's simple. Yeah, I get beat up, I get <laughs> tourniquets on my legs, you know, NPAs, nasal pharyngeal airways down my nose, uh, IVs, you know, I don't care. Um, my goal is to train soldiers. Field Expedient Bleeding Simulation System, FEBS. It was very interesting to see it. Um, I've seen multiple types of systems like this before. The right side is and this one was the one that was most realistic to me. The blood was so much more just real. It felt real, it smelled real, it acted real. <laughs> Being able to react under that stressful situation, that is key and crucial in saving lives. I need you to help me sit him up. Okay? It is very similar to combat. It's uh, disorganized. Uh, your plan that you have set aside always doesn't work out. Through the IV! Get a f 
fucking litter and let's get him out of here. Get him to the CCP. Did you control the bleeding? Yes, we have to see more of this. They will be that much more ready for responding to the deployment. Hey, I'm a combat lifesaver. What do you guys need? Tourniquet right here. The neural pathways that you can build from seeing what it's like and reacting to the blood. You have to make do. How good is he breathing? Is he Okay, good. Making sure that you're taking care of the soldier and getting the mission done and getting the wounded people out of the way, that's the, the number one priority. Can I grab the weapon stock? That is Every medic needs to change their mindset and get ready to do some realistic training. Come on, doc. Let's get him out of here. You're going to be all right. Come on. Calm down, man. Calm down. Uh, Incineration.